Plato, a classical Greek philosopher. Besides being a philosopher, he also was a mathematician. A student of Socrates, a writer of phys philosophical dialogues and founder of the Academy in Athens, which was the first institution of higher learning in the Western world. Along with his mentor, Socrates, and his student, Aristotle, Plato helped to lay the foundations of Western philosophy and science. Plato's dialogues have been used to teach a range of subjects, including philosophy and ethics. Some people even say that Plato's ideas are the general characterization of philosophy in the European continent. The definite place and time of Plato's birth are not known. However, it is said that he lived from 428 BC till 348 BC. Based on ancient sources, we believe that he was born in Athens or Aegina. Plato belonged to an aristocratic and influential family. His father was called Ariston. Plato's mother was named Perikshon. Besides Plato himself, Ariston and Perikshon had three other children. These were two sons, Adamantus and Glucon, and a daughter, Potone. Since Plato belonged to quite a wealthy family, he was educated by the best teacher of his time. It was said that Plato was an incredibly smart boy. Some people question how Plato became a philosopher. Well, there is a legend going on which seems to explain it all. While Plato was sleeping as an infant, bees had settled on Plato's lips. This is said to be an augury, some kind of sign of sweetness of style in which Plato was about to discover philosophy. Another interesting discussion going on about Plato is about the origin of his name. According to Diogenes Laertius, the philosopher was named Aristocles, after his grandfather. However, his wrestling coach dubbed him Platon, which means broad, so his name actually refers to his robust body. Until the age of 40, Plato traveled a lot. He visited places like Italy, Egypt and Cyrene. It was actually here, in Cyrene, that Plato was sold into slavery and almost faced death. Luckily, an admirer brought him freedom and sent him home. Everything we see around us is a reflection, a shadow, an imperfect form of the perfect form. Huh? I Let me explain this with the story of the cave. Imagine a forest. In this forest, four prisoners are tied together whilst being blindfolded. They were never allowed to turn around and they have never seen light. Fellow prisoners, I might know a way to escape. Why should we want to do that? Ah, what we see here is typical for our world. 
We see our world limited by our senses. We are now observing prisoners who have never seen anything. But of course, my hero is very curious and wants to see the truth herself. In fact, we cannot see the real world. Just like them, we are the prisoners in our world. But there are people who want to look further. Now watch what will happen next. Turn to tell her friend. She's very excited to tell his friend about the real world. I saw the most beautiful thing. I saw an open grass field with joy and with colors. And this is not the real world we're making. This is just uh, the inside of a forest. What did you see? An open grass field with joy and with colors, just this is not a real world. This would be a great moment to link this to my ideas of the form. Let me explain. Our world is the cave. The objects in this world that we see all day are just mere images or shadows of the perfect form. The world of the perfect forms is kept from us. And the form of the form is the sun as it gives life and meaning to all other forms. Without the sun, we wouldn't be able to see the objects, shapes, nor the shadows. Now let us continue the story. I don't believe you. Why couldn't we have seen it before? But haven't you had, never had the feeling that there was something more? No, that's just nonsense. You yeah, see what you crazy. want to see. It's true, it's true, it's really true. No. Like yeah. a The human soul is born with innate ideas of what the perfect form looks like. This means that the soul has seen the form and recognizes them. Also, as a result, you can recognize all shadows. Know, for example, a certain object being a chair, even if you haven't seen a chair before. Now I think I've explained the basic ideas, and now you know the truth. Have you all understood this? Yes. Remember well what I have told you. As for now, the time of departure has arrived. Okay. Now I will talk to you about what makes Aristotle's theory so very good. We know that Aristotle was wrong. Plato was right. Yeah, Plato stole his name so. Yeah. This behavior is unacceptable. Unacceptable. You will all, all of you, you will all get detention. I turn it on, I set the tone, and I know I'm ready to go. I show you looking up against the wall. Ja, die mogen komen, hè.
No. Ja, je vaste vroeg. Ja, Sane V. Sane V. Yes or no? <laughs> 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 